Hey guys, what's up? Sarah Safari <coughs> here. We're back at it with another mommy and dad. We're back at it with another mommy and daddy episode. Do, We're do here. the Dougie. Do the Dougie. How do you do it? Like this? No, it's like a. I don't even know to be honest. That okay. Was a while anyways. Ago. We're here with another episode of Mommy and Daddy Talk. We are live. Well, yeah, we from are live. Las Vegas. That's what I felt like you were going with. Yeah, we are. Okay. Live from Las Vegas. Why do you have a motherfucker on your body? Because the shirt isn't cute when I'm like. Then why are you wearing it? Because it's cute when I'm standing up. No, I've been here for five nights so far. I've been here for a minute. I've been here five nights and I have not touched alcohol. On my mother's life. Dude. Micah. First of all. First of all, don't swear in your mother's life like that. That's Bro, crazy. Don't try to don't try to get on a podcast and make me seem like an alcoholic. <laughs> Dude, you know you drink. I don't drink. Okay, you never you actually never drink. No, you I really? have I no, I have drank priorly, like like priorly. over a year and a half ago. But I have not drank alcohol in over a year and a half. Why'd you choose to why'd you choose to not drink alcohol? I like, never liked the way it tasted. I don't like how I feel the next morning. There's nothing good about it. I feel like no one likes the way it tastes. You just drank that and said, wow, that well, was good. But I'm different. Just built different. Bro. So, so wait, so. El Ego. No, what do you mean I'm different? Okay. I used to, I, honestly, I used to hate beer. And then I turned like 28 and was like, yo, this shit's good. Yeah. I think it's an age thing. I'm a little older. Yeah. Maybe it tastes a little bit better to me. Point is this. Why did you genuinely decide to stop drinking alcohol? Was it just like, was it just a fitness thing? It started off kind of as a fitness thing. Um, I was like, I don't want to consume the extra calories. My mindset is that I always rather eat uh, eat the calories than drink the calories. Yeah, because you get more, you make more gains that way. Yeah. And alcohol is just bad for so many things. Regard so, like, say you have anyway. six white claws. That's six hundred calories and a bunch of other bad. Shit. But six hundred calories that you could have had like an so In and Out burger with. But were you ever really like a drinker? Were you like a bro, like getting twisted? No, not like that. Cause I'm always th- I was I have always been the driver in my friend group. I've never wanted to drink that badly that oh we're gonna have to Uber or we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna get there or get home. Like I've always so you were always the one who like drank one or two and then you risked it. No 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 never. Okay. I'm so opposed That's to good. that. That's good. Yeah. It's a terrible thing. Because even if you feel sober, um, say you get pulled over at a DUI checkpoint or you get pulled over for like having your headlights off or some something dumb. Yeah. Um, then they test you, and even if you don't feel it, but your like blood alcohol content is above the legal limit, you're screwed. You get DUI. You can you're never fucked. like. Well, have you ever done it in a car? <laughs> no, I no. You've never done it in a car. No. Don't f-ing lie to me on camera. No, I'm not lying to you. Okay. No, You've really never done it in a car. No, but I didn't mean it the way you're taking it. What'd you mean it? How'd you mean it? I don't know. What about the way you're taking it in a car? You ever done What's that? What's wrong with you? Can you act Dude, your you age? Dude, you made innuendo towards Can me. Can you I made act innu- your age? This is crazy. Okay, this fine. is crazy. I'll act my age, all right? Let's do it. Like, for me, it's like, oh, she's just a small little girl. For you, it's like, bro, you're pushing 40, act your age. Mm. I'm not going to lie. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm joking. Yeah. So, how is Japan? <sighs> I saw one clip that oh I wish God. I never saw. What are you talking about? I don't think Where's, you want me to is, say. I'm gonna like Japan? save Jacob some effort and not verbalize what clip it was. What clip? What f-ing clips, dude? It was oh. the clip I sent you. All all we did was go to Japan and and explore the culture and and meet the people. Yeah, and, and we, how we, was it when you rented a family in Japan? It was amazing. We rented yeah, a family. Yeah, did you like the sister? Loved it. Whole the sisters, <laughs> two sisters. Steve rented a girlfriend. I had apparently I had a, a, a abusive uh, Japanese father. I saw him touching you. Okay. I want to explain this, okay? Because I streamed about this last night, but Wait, I genuinely... Wait, let's give them context of the backstory. He was in Japan. Yeah. They rented a family, whatever that means. Yeah, which is, first off, is weird. weird. I don't Why like do they saying even allow that. that to happen? Yeah. Oh, it was... Okay. No, it's totally like, it's a thing. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I wonder what that's... Before we get into the story, I wonder what that's really for. Like, why would you be able to rent a... Like, why the would you need to rent you a... The same way you hire escorts to appear like you have a girl. You know, sometimes you hire an escort and then go to, like, a fancy dinner with, like, your colleagues to make it seem like that's your girl instead of, like, a prostitute or Damn. an escort or whatever. Maybe. I mean, I didn't know that's why people... Did. I thought they just did that I to have sex with them. But the whole family? No, with the escorts. I didn't know they went and... Oh, they like, do hey, stuff? This... Yeah, they do stuff with hey, the escorts. Hey, this is my girl and they try to pretend like it's your girl? Yeah, are they, like, a wedding date? Like, say... 
You know, really? you can't find a date and you hire an escort. Or like escort. they're like, their ex was getting married. And they're like, yo, I got this bad, yes. this bad chick. This, okay. And then you see her hitting on other single men at the wedding. It's tough. It's tough. But anyways, it's weird. It's weird for, to have rents of family. But yes, go ahead. We were in Japan. And what'd you see? Yes. And um, I saw them. First of all, they were at a cat cafe that I was extremely jealous about. It made me want to buy a cat. Yeah. I know. I saw I I, yeah. I, I was watching it. I'm a supporter. Thank you. Thank um, you. Brad and Steve show. Yeah. Anyways, this the dad was touching Brad's leg, making his way up, grabbing his arm. He was the dad was not passing the green line test. He was no. leaned all over on Brad. No. And I'll be honest, at first it was it was really interesting because at first, like, you know, someone does something like that. And like because it started with just like the hand on the back, like going towards the butt. That's what he did. Literally yeah. first yeah. thing. And I was like, ah, maybe he's just not he's not realizing it. Yeah. Then he did it two more times. Yeah. And I was like, okay, he's he's very purposely doing this. But the this. culture is different. Yeah, it's not that different. Okay. It's actually way not it's definitely not even close to that different. They're they're actually way more respectful, they're way quieter, like they're yeah. They're like way You're to right. themselves. Yeah, more respectful of people's personal space, maybe. Everything. Like they yeah. they don't even make noise out there. I, this is something that's really significant about Japan that I love. Imagine you're in like an intersection with like a literally like five hundred Japanese people and it's quiet. Like if you went to like an intersection in like New York and there was like ten people, five people there and ten people five people here on the corners, it's gonna be louder than what it would have been in like Japan at the same thing with like five hundred people. That's Everyone's crazy. very quiet. No one honks horns. Everyone's really respectful. I loved it. So I don't think getting in your personal space is a part of their culture. Anyways, yeah. I thought now after watching the clips, I thought it was a setup. Was it? I, I called Steve and he said it wasn't. But then he kept, you know how Steve, he just kind of always makes shit, makes up jokes and he just kind of keeps going with the joke. Yeah. I couldn't really tell. I couldn't really tell. Because when I watched the clip back, there was one clip where, where this is after I told Steve, like, I was going to text him because I didn't really want to out him on camera. Like, yo, this guy's touching me. And then I text Steve and I'm like, I show him on, you can see it on the live stream. I show him, I'm like, yo, I'm typing it to him. I'm like, this guy's, and then he says it right away, of course. And, but then there's this one clip where later on we're in the cat cafe and the moms, the mom, the job, my Japanese mom sitting next to me, the Japanese dad yeah, is on the I other side. Yeah, I saw that. And he like has his hand like on my arm and then he puts his hand like almost here on like my inner thigh. Yeah, and I like saw the, that. That's what I'm referencing. And the mom starts laughing and, but Steve starts laughing immediately. Like, cause he kind of knew cause I told him, but the, for for some reason, when the mom started laughing, it made me feel like maybe he told all of them, like, this is the plan. But that's a weird plan. Like, hey, well, subtly Steve. touch Bradley. But I don't think he'd go with that plan. I think the guy was just kind of like maybe like like into you. Were they an actual family? And you, No. Oh, so friends. none of them were a family. They were friends. Okay. Yeah, because we asked all that afterwards. But that's something Steve would do, though. Yeah. But then again, you're right. Like, wouldn't like wouldn't they hear that and be like, "What? The f I don't want to." Yeah, do that. because like no amount of money, like, would someone like sometimes no amount of money would compensate for someone touching someone else. Do you have an amount? No, there's okay. no amount. I love testing you. But that's what I'm saying is like when I meet people and like you know they hug me and then their hand starts to slowly go down, I feel uncomfortable immediately, immediately. And you sen finally got to sense that feeling, or did yeah. you like it? No, it was really awkward. Like the first time. Again, I was like, oh, it's it's a, I mean, he doesn't doesn't even realize it. And then it kept happening. And I was like, oh, this is so intentional. It did feel kind of like weird. I was surprised that he kept being consistent with it. Cause yeah. at some point I started talking about it very openly, like in the air, and like he just kept doing it. But all overall, dude, Japan was amazing. Okay, good. It, it was one of the most incredible trips I think I've been on in a really long time. Really? Absolutely. So I should have went. I fully, fully think everyone should go to Japan and experience it. Okay. Because it's just like, like I said, it's just everyone's really quiet. Everyone's really respectful. Everyone minds their own business. The food is incredible. It's super, super cheap to the American dollar. Um, like flights and hotels might be a little bit pricey, but like you could eat there for so cheap for so long. Really? Yes. Like things were like a couple dollars. That's crazy. I know Steve was telling me last night, he was saying like a Chipotle bowl equivalent to like a Chipotle bowl here was like $3 there. Yeah. Which yeah. is like, which is crazy yeah that is insane um but yeah you you should have went what happened i i thought vegas for me vegas was a little bit more important i love gambling but i should i should have 100 percent went to japan it was just okay sorry i should have went to japan it was just other things that were kind of like 
Yeah, j- yeah. I Japan's, don't know. It's overrated. Yeah, you just said it was great. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's super overrated. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would you want to go again? No, nah, I've been I've been here once. Like, what was that? I've been here once. Yeah, from one I've little been there sip. Once. I've been there once. Do you feel it? Do I feel what? The elk. The elk? No. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I don't drink. I never drink. I know I'm not plastered. What the f- is this? Yeah. I took two drinks. Okay. Two sips. Anyways, um, but yeah, I come to Vegas and then all of a sudden everyone follows me to Vegas. <laughs> What's funny about that? No, dude. Sorry, my instant. Dude, thought- are you drunk? No, 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 no. My instant <laughs> thought. You, my instant thought was like, I want to say some. Sh- I can't say it. Okay, then don't say it. I'm not going to say it. But we are all in Vegas. The real question is, why'd you come here a week ago? Because I wanted to gamble. Why have you been here for so long? I wanted to gamble. I've been gambling. So you've been gambling every night? I'm up. I'm up like 5K. Wow. 5K in five days? I guess it's not that bad. That's not bad. I started with uh, $300. Oh, you started gambling with $300? Yeah. That's all you started with? Yeah. Oh, that's actually really... And you're up 5K from that? Okay. Yeah. Like, no. No. I, I well, I paid Micah. I owed him money. Um, no, I'm talking about that. I'm talking about gambling, gambling. Gambling, straight, gambling. I want your stats right yeah, now. Yeah. I'm so you, 44. 4,400. So you bet with three, $300. 300 made it into 4,400. That's good. So you're pretty much a gambler now. Yeah. I'm a profession, professional gambler. I need a gambling deal. I love gambling. I know. It's so crazy, man. Such a, such a, such a good sport. Is it a sport? No. I think it's a sport. I don't think it's a sport. They do it on professionally. Don't they do this on ESPN and stuff? I think it is a sport. Okay. You should get into professional gambling. Yeah, I want to. So you and Bryce and, and Faith, you guys are all here just drunk? Not me. I wasn't drunk. It was Bryce, Faith. I saw XQC. He's oh, really yeah. nice. Dana was there. Um, I saw Sneeko. Did you talk to XQC about um, Overwatch? No, I didn't. But Steve did. Steve went up to XQC, and it was so cute. Steve went up to him and talked to him for a little bit and then walked out, and Steve was so red. Like, he was nervous. I was like, <laughs> I asked Steve's girl, I was like, Sal, like, why is Steve so he red? He used to watch him. And he was like, that's yeah. his, like, Steve's such a big fan of XQC. Yeah, 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 I was like, that's cute to see, because usually everyone's a fan of Steve. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he's a big, so XQC, he got big playing Overwatch. Oh, really? Yeah, which is like the game he, me and Steve play all the time, like complete nerds. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I, I've accepted it at this point. I don't think there's any going back. You know, I've been a nerd my whole life. I see it. My whole life. Did you have a lot of friends growing up? Uh, I have friends. I don't know if a lot is like the way to describe it. But you had good, genuine friends that you could rely on? Mm. Yeah. Then why do you not have any now? I do, Jacob. You pay him. You. You pay me. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, Steve. We pay each other. <laughs> yeah, you pay each other. Uh, I'm kidding. Obviously, me, Jacob, and Steve are three of your yeah, yeah, very yeah. good friends. Like I love you, but I'm saying, do you have any friends from when you were 22? Oh, n- oh no, no, from when I was 22. You haven't kept any of the friends that you grew up with. No, like I know people, but I'm not like, I've not been like, hey, what's good? Okay. But I, you're not that I, person either. You're never that person to be like, yo, how you been? Yeah. I'm really not that guy. That's something I want to get better at. Yeah, you need to get better at I feel it. like I've gotten better at that though over the last couple of years. I don't know. It's kind of. You suck. Really? I feel like we'll go a week without saying anything to each other. And then but instead it makes of the podcast good. Instead of being like, oh, Sarah, how have you been? You're like, yeah, but podcast. Like we gotta, it's like anyway. we got to talk about it on the podcast. Like that's part of the thing. Yeah, true, but everything that happens in our personal lives, we don't talk about on this podcast. No, we should, though. Yeah, then go ahead and start. Why don't you? We should. Well, let's talk about you, though. Let's talk about you, though. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about your three, right, your three keep, month. Yeah, let's talk about let's your three keep, months. Let's, I want to hear about what? the celibacy. It's more than three months. Oh, fuck. Crazy. Okay, it's no, so, we're not talking about okay, that. We're not but it's about obviously, it. it's more than three months. Okay. I was telling you, like, before the podcast started, yeah. it was more than three months. That's impressive. That takes grit. No, it, it doesn't. It's world. actually really easy. Does it? Yeah, it's super easy. I think for guys it's different because testosterone, but like for me at least, I don't like think about that kind of stuff. Well, let's talk about testosterone. I don't take testosterone. No, no, I know that. Don't you think you have a little more than the normal girl? 
I don't know. I think I'm so like, um, I diet a little bit too hard and I think that I'm always stressed out and I'm always, I always think about work or how I can improve something that yeah. I don't really like think about anything else. Like even friendships I've started to become worse at. I've realized this, any type of friendship relationship I've started to become worse at because all I think about is like work or oh, man. things like that. Like me. Yeah. That's what happened to me. Yeah, no, but it's not because it with you, I still text you, Brad, how are you doing? Or like, what's up? Or yeah, how but, have you but, been? But, or I try to FaceTime call you and then. But what you're saying is like <sighs> bad right now. Yeah, it's bad. That's what happened to me. There's no turning back. Your life is going to be forever ruined. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's great. <laughs> it's great. You're just a, you're, you're, it's a type. You just yeah. have the a type personality. Yeah. You just have to, I'm telling you right now, try to find a balance before it's too late. Yeah, before I turn out like you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? We're going to Power Slap tonight. Let's sit next to each other and place bets. Wait. Against like. Wait, this like, is really important. I was talking about the testosterone thing and like the manly thing. Yes. Because I had a point. Okay. And we can't get go. past it yet. We're going to go Power Slap in a sec. Yeah, okay? okay. Go hit me with it. I'll take it. How come I've been on the internet lately and on Twitter and it's, it's, there's been this thing where like women are, they're talking about you being too masculine or muscular. Yeah. And then I also see like some other girl and then some other girl like and i'm just like why is this even a conversation it's point? one it's one dumbass insecure girl that looks like a thumb who keeps <laughs> talking shit i i don't know who it is i don't know, even know her name i just see her i see people being like but I'm, I'm curious like is but it's the reason why it's interesting is because it's getting engagement it's getting so much engagement so, but that's what because it's something controversial half the people think i look good half the people think i look bad maybe 75 percent think i look bad but they argue about it in the comments and then it blows up i'm like you're using my pictures for four million impressions mm -hmm. on twitter asking if i'm too muscular or too masculine or whatever it's so it's go take care of your child instead of talking about me on the internet please oh she's a demon now. dude the kid is two weeks old and you're she's over here talking about me please get him some milk right? i hope if i'm a mother i'm not talking people on the internet Damn. i pray to god wow that That's... if i have a family children whoa i'm not talking someone else on the internet <laughs> you're a demon now <laughs> you're so funny how am i a demon That's no i just true. like how you go hard dude it's dope i respect that sh no, i respect that yeah no i respect that for real i'm also just curious like mm -hmm. Maybe it's just the internet and it's just the way it is, but people are just always trying to like just create divide. People are always trying to like be like this or that. And it's like, it's also really interesting because pictures are not a great depiction of like someone, how someone really looks. Yeah. And, it was, and obviously I try to, I mean, for me, I like if I look lean or aesthetic or muscular, I like that, but it, there's, it's all lighting. It's editing. You got a pump. Yeah. It's angle. a pump. It's like, you're wearing a sports bra and spandex. It's like, if you see me out, like, you wouldn't even think twice that I worked out, depending well, uh, on what I'm wearing. Yeah, yeah. Right now, you know, because your arms. But you can't tell. I'm saying they look pretty average. I mean, you got some big arms, though. Yeah. So it's not average. You know what else? Um, what was I going to say? It was something else about Twitter. Oh, Twitter. This is this is where I'm going with this. I hate, I hate, I absolutely Hate's hate. It's a strong word. I hate this. Are you sure? It's a yep, strong word. I'm going with it. Okay. I hate how... Um, if I'm in a room with guys or if I take a picture with a guy and I post it on my Snapchat <laughs> because I take pictures with anything and everything, but I'm saying <clears throat> it gets put on Twitter and it's like, oh, she's getting passed through, like she's getting <laughs> passed around like a blunt. And it's like they assume <laughs> that just that picture with the guy means that we're sleeping together. This, Isn't is, the that, whole, this is the whole Nina Agdahl thing. Yes, it's yeah, it's it is. The same I'm saying that one picture, there's like they take it and they make the most wild assumption, wild assumption with it. Do you even think though it's all content, even like yesterday with Bryce, um, Bryce got down on one knee pretending to propose. Right, Micah was there; he saw the whole thing, pretending to propose, and we were like, "Oh, that's a good, um, that's good content for Snapchat, like as the clickbait, right?" Yeah, as the, and as that's the end all it slip. was. And then we both got up and we left. Right, like we sat down, did the picture for ten seconds, and then. That was that, but then people assume, oh, they're sleeping together, or she gets passed around, or like Sneeko's a cuck because he's let it, he's watching like Bryce. And I'm like, it's literally content. It's there's nothing more to it than we thought it'd be a good thumbnail, and then it was, got paid out fat from that thumbnail, and we both walked out. Well, there's things. There's two things. It's it's like there is perception, like people really don't know 
Like they may not understand why you're doing the things you're doing. Like, cause most people watching this probably don't understand that. Like when you end the Snapchat story with this picture, it's going to get more views. It gets more. better performance. So yeah. like people aren't going to know that they're just going to see what they see. Right. Which yeah. is why people are trying to find that picture to be like, Oh my God, I knew it. So at the same time, you also can't get so mad at them for like making those assumptions because like you're playing into the same narratives that the assumptions are being created from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but because you know it's a good thumbnail because you know it, people can be like, "What's this?" Yeah, what's happening here? Yeah. But also, a, a picture of us at the gym doesn't mean that we're sleeping together. No, no, you're right. Absolutely. I'm saying there's a but lot proposing of gray to you, area. Proposing to you is like, like if I saw them propose, if I didn't know you and I didn't do a podcast and I, and I didn't know you, yeah, and I saw like I'd be like, "Wait, is this real?" Like I, th that's the thing with the internet too—the perception of it. Also, yeah. why you're doing it. People don't understand it. But then also the internet, like, what's real, what's fake? There's so much nowadays It's just so misconstrued and can be just misconstrued every time. Yeah. So you also, you also have to understand that, like, playing into it, too, is not necessarily going to help the cause. Because you're going to have so many people who don't understand the mm -hmm. dynamic who just go, yep, they're together. Speak of the devil. Yeah, but Bryce and I have also been friends forever. So here's the deal. It's like you kind of know, you kind of have to know what you're getting yourself into. Because if you know the reaction... Then you know that like they're gonna be like, "What's this? Oh my God, another guy! They're oh, it looks like they're together. They're close. They're hugging. They're whatever." Like the, you also understand the age group, the, the breakdown, the demographic. Like who's here watching this? Like they're gonna assume what you give them to assume. Yeah, facts. But so there is there is a gray sure, area. the proposing one. Yes, I I hear what you're saying, but even just me being in a room with guys, it, it's just like the narrative. Or I take a selfie with a guy standing next to me, and it's like, oh, like they're. It's the worst is assumed, even though I feel like in the industry and in the scene of things, it's mostly men anyways. Yeah. So what do you do to, to, to beat the, I don't know, is it a stereotype? I guess it is kind of a stereotype. That's what do not, I do just to not beat true. it? Nothing. I mean, I, I know who I am and I stay true to that. And I feel like my close friends, you know, Bryce knows. Yeah. Everyone knows who I am besides, I guess, like the people that are haters. Not haters, but the ones that make the assumptions. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't but, really matter at the end of the day. I just, I mean, yeah. get paid. I got paid out pretty fat from that picture on Snapchat. So, I mean, like, wow, I, just looked at, I just looked at that and I was like, oh, the pain went away. That's some baller shit. <laughs> Dude, I need to be better at Snapchat. Yeah, you've gotten better. You're welcome. I've gotten better. You have. You. Yes. Jacob's actually really good at it. Yeah, he's really good. You're not good at it. Let me preface this by saying Jacob's really yes, good at it. Jacob's good at that shit. Yeah. Um, he's good at everything, that guy. He said, just use your phone. That is what it is. It's honestly, I forget, I forget it. I forget it because all the stuff I'm trying to do, like, in front of the camera. I oh, guess. yeah? Yeah, oh, it's yeah. a tough life, you know? Oh, cry me a river. <laughs> so let's talk about, let's talk about uh, Power, Power Slab. Slab a little. So th the thing, the reason why this is so interesting to me, because, like, how, because Bryce called, and he's like, I'm going to bet on this guy, that guy. How the f you bet on these things? I think, I don't know if you bet on the number of slaps or if you bet on the winner. I I'm probably just betting goes. wins, but regardless, like, let's just bet on the winner. How do you even decide who's going to win? You just go, oh, that guy looks like he can take a slap. Yeah, it's kind of like, I mean, it's gambling. It's like anything else. Like, yeah. you look at the stats from prior, just like you would any other sport. You could be like, oh, he's had three wins, zero losses. Like, maybe he'll have another win. Yeah. But it's like, you really don't know because there's a coin flip, right? Who's going to go first? Right? Who's going to go first? Yeah. And usually, like, I mean... The guy who goes first normally wins? Not normally wins, but, like, I don't know. It's 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 all, like, 50-50. It's all crazy. Yeah. It is. It's straight up, like, roulette. Yeah. Because it's, like, the flip is, like, oh, God, it's so tough. But we should either gamble. Slap fight each other? That's crazy you'd ever say that. Oh, I thought that was where we were going with that. Um, We okay. should either gamble it, gamble downstairs, or we can sit next to each other or text each other and put hundreds on each match. And then, like, if I win Wait, the match, well, you pay me a hundred. Like, we'll go against. Like, I'll pick someone, and then if they win, you pay me a hundred. And then if and then if yours wins, I pay you a hundred. We could go like that. You want to bet a hundred dollars? How much do you want to bet? I feel like don't you have the most cash on you've ever had? I feel yeah, like I I've got take a lot of money. cash. <laughs> I would. I would like. Let's bet more. Okay. Let's bet on the final one. Okay. Oh no, because you want the Hawaiian guy. I want the Hawaiian guy. Okay, so I do want you. the Hawaiian guy. I'll look at the whole card and then we'll, we'll, we'll pick go. one. Okay, perfect. But we're gonna go a thousand dollar bet. Taking money from a child. T me, a child. Yeah. Sometimes, mm -hmm. I'm still growing up. I don't know if growing up's a great thing though, man. I don't know. I think you have some growing to do in some aspects what that aspects? are crucial. 
Not like my arm size. You mean like? No, no, no. Mentally. Okay. Yeah, physically you you're fine. That? Physically, you're too grown. Too grown. Overgrown. Yeah. You're overgrown. Why do you say that? Because the way you go about situations, it's like, it's like, bro, people can tell tell you things, and you just like don't bro, take. Bro, I will. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go too deep into it. Shut the f- up. What about you? Same. Sh- no, nah, not same. Sh- I've grown up. <sighs> it's cap, dude. A hundred percent. It's it's easy when if you avoid anything, if you avoid it, then you can't get hurt. What? Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, we gotta talk about this. Hold if on. If you avoid that was reckless. Oh, how? If you avoid it, then you can't get hurt. Yeah. Bro. Sarah. How's that reckless? Sarah, listen. Bro, look at me and look at you. If you, you hurt me unhurt. <laughs> look, if you avoid things, then they just sit and they fester and eventually it affects other things. You can't just avoid things and it doesn't hurt. Watch me. <laughs> Yo, you're you're reckless. I'm not reckless. You're reckless. You have to you you have to confront things. You have to address things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what no. are you not addressing? No, there's nothing that no, I'm saying I avoid like new friendships, relationships, that kind of stuff, just so you don't get hurt. Oh, that's, that's also what I sad. That's Both what of I those things. I don't know if that's better than the other one I was assuming. Oh. Like dealing with your problems. This one's even worse. Oh. Because now you're just you're just avoiding things like because you're like afraid. Dude, you're going to end up just like me. No. I'm yeah. going to end up better. I hope because so. Because you got me to be like, not like that. <laughs> no, because what I'm saying is you don't avoid those things and you're, I don't think you're in a better spot than I am. Mentally. I don't avoid those things? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. You don't. Do that again? <laughs> Flabbergasted. You go Fla- head on. You're like, give me all the women. And no. then you're like, ah. Bro, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. You gotta start getting real. You gotta talk more about your relationship stuff. But that's what I'm saying. They're non-existent. Yeah, I know. I know. There's I know. Sorry. I keep moving, yeah. Mike. Jacob's getting mad at me. But, yeah. What? Go ahead. I was gonna say, like, that's the thing. If you guys see me on social media and I'm posting him, he is not mine. I wouldn't post my. I wouldn't post. I wouldn't post like my intimate you n- relationships. You never would. No. Yeah. Like if I'm posting him on Snapchat, you best believe there's nothing intimate about me and it, the guy I'm posting. Yeah. Why? Because you're afraid of just what? Or you don't want what? Like attention on it? I think I just, I would, I don't know. Because I consider this posting on in Snapchat and like doing this kind of stuff work. Yeah. And I would like to separate work and like my intimate relationships. Yeah. Not that I wouldn't keep him up to date. I'd love to keep him up to date, but I mean, I wouldn't post him. It's crazy. It's it's got to be it's got to be tougher to find someone in a situation like that then, because someone has to be comfortable with that. Yeah, and I don't think that's the thing is I that's why I want to, you know, do as much as I can with the social media stuff and then get out so I can focus on other things. Because no way would a guy ever be okay with the things that I'm doing, which I totally understand. But which things? Which things? Yeah. Like why even you though, like, you know how I am, but I'm saying. This way, the same way it's perceived on Twitter, I'm sure the guy that I'm talking to would not want. He's gonna be asking the same questions. Yeah, he's gonna like, be asking the, the same things that yeah. people perceive or they make assumptions with, right? Yeah. Like, why are you in Vegas with like five guys in faith? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, what what are you doing? Like, why are you not texting back? And I'm like, yo, I'm at the tables. I can't be on my phone. Like, oh, there's only guys there. There's yeah. alcohol. And I'm like, I'm not drinking. I'm not doing. But you anything. don't even drink for real. No, I for real don't drink. Yeah. Or like, yeah. You don't do anything. That's what I'm saying. Damn, kind of loser. Yeah. Like in real life. Yeah, I know. Earlier, I was like, Brad, I'm asexual, and he was like, No, you're a loser. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, obviously, you're really cool. But like, and you're not actually a loser. I don't really mean that, but you are really like, I don't even. In real life, you're very isolated. It seems. Yeah. yeah I'm a, lonely. You're a lot like me. Yeah. It's you better get it together. I better what? Get it together. Yeah. Get That's your cool. shit together. Yeah. What about you? When are you gonna get yours together? Dude, are you my, too deep in? My shit together, bro. I'm here. I'm here too. My shit together. I'm in this. Look at me, Vegas. Uh, this is not. This is a nice room. Yeah, you're it's welcome. It's not my room. It's my room. <laughs> is this your room? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're such a capper. It's neither of our rooms. I'm going to take some Snapchats of it, though, like it was mine. Yeah, me too. Yeah, fair. Um, so, so then they can perceive and assume that it's our room. Boom. That's crazy. So it's, it's like weird. What else What else can we expect them, though? Like, you have to you have to expect it. Like, that's kind of going to happen. Yeah. Like, as you continue to make content to, like, more guys or more girls, whatever, you know, they're going to think you're a lesbian. And they're going to think you're straight. They're going to think you're a lesbian. And they're probably going to stick with the lesbian thing. <laughs> based on the looks and the muscles and, you know, I hair. don't think I give off lesbian vibes. You don't, I'm just f- you, dude. I'm just I mean, I think I do. Up. Actually, I think I do give off lesbian vibes, but I'm not lesbian. Wouldn't that be easier, though? Not having Damn, to deal with guys? <laughs> no. Women are worse than men, I think, in some in ways. In regards to what? In relationships. But in regards to which part? Like the... I don't know, though. I don't know. Because they're a little crazy, right? A little bit. Like more Women emotional. are a little crazy. A little bit more emotional. Yeah. That part is obviously just true. Unless yeah. you're dealing with a meathead guy that's blasted on steroids because he is very emotional. Because his hormones are also fluctuating yeah. monthly. Yeah. So it's yeah. either like... Yeah. Damn. So whether I was to like be with a girl or be with you, both of them are like <laughs> messed up. <laughs> that's, that's fucking <laughs> crazy talk, dude. No, that's crazy because like that's not true at all, man. I don't know. Okay. What the? F- what is that? What's that above the TV? Mm-hmm. Is that a sword? Is that a samurai sword? No. It looks like it. That's you not got, a samurai sword. You got your bling on for tonight. It was my gambling outfit. Oh, it is. Yeah. The raw gear? Yeah, all raw gear, all black. So if I if I lose my money, I'm going straight to a funeral. So if you lose your money, you're going straight to rob someone. <laughs> Maybe. The all black. That's why I have a ski mask. I bought the shiesty too. It's in my bag. Really? Yeah. You want to see it? No. Wait. No. I have something to say. I'm going to New York next week. Are you going? To New York? Yeah. No. What's that for? Oh, I just thought like since I was going, you'd follow me around. No, I'm not like all these other people. No, seriously though, I think we're going for gym weed. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm tired of I'm tired of traveling. Why? Where are you going on the thirtieth? I have a podcast. With who? Leak it, leak it, leak it, leak no, it. No, it's it's nothing crazy. It's, it's actually a fitness guy. Who is it? Lane. Hey, Lane Lane Norton. Do you know who that is? No. You know who that is? It's a big. Uh, He's been in the game for a minute. Someone I really want to talk to you about is just nutrition and diet and all that stuff. Oh, cool. Really, really smart guy. I don't want to travel, though. I'm not gonna so lie. you're not going to go to New York? No, I got to go. I'll be there. You have to. But I'm going before. I'm going on the 30th. <sighs> I'm Because I'm going for Snapchat. <sighs> okay, for Snapchat. Yeah. Can you not look so bored, maybe, during our podcast? Oh, That'd be great. Sorry. That'd be great okay. if you could sit up right. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. I'm going for Snapchat. Yeah. There we oh go. Oh, my God. I love Snapchat, by the way. This is no shade of Snapchat. It's shade at Sarah. What? I said no shade at Snapchat. This is shade at Sarah. I love Snapchat. Um, Thanks to Sarah. So that's actually super weird that you'd say either of those things. I mean, thanks to Sarah. Yeah. One more time, please. I thank you so much. Show me a little thanks. Thanks to Sarah. Why? Because this is is Snapchat. Why, Brad? Snapchat. Show me thanks. I show you gratitude all the time. Snapchat. Snapchat's a good app. I love that. I got to change the subject. I know. No, we appreciate you, Sarah. We? No, you. Me isn't Jacob. No, I want to hear it from you. I appreciate you, sir. Why? Because you, you're very helpful. You, It's like a, a yin and yang. Good and bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. You're bad. You're like a little, you're, you're a little, can be a little violent. Yeah, I know. So can it's, you. Yeah. Bruh. But it's weird when you do it. Why? How is that? I don't know, because you're a girl. I think I expect it from guys oh. to be a little like. Violent, aggressive. Yeah, like yeah. where you're like, whoa, this guy good. He's in a bad mood. You, oh, yeah. You get like snappy. Yeah, I get feisty. You get really like spicy. Wow. No spicy link. Some though. people like that. Some people huh? like spicy. Yeah, no, I think most people do. But like you're kind of like a, it's like if spice was level 10, you'd be like a 10 sometimes. But then like you got like a little asterisk, but also mean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the mean part's like. No, I've had, I think any guy that I've had close to personally has always told me that you are a little mean that i'm mean that well, I'm what's mean. up with that i don't know you want to talk about it that i'm mean i don't know how i don't know how i'm mean no but but I you. i mean i know i'm mean i know i'm mean i know how i'm mean i don't know why i'm mean mm. do you do you know why i'm mean 
And if you bring this all back to my dad, I'm going to have an issue with you because I don't no, think it's I don't, that. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily because of your dad. Wait. Holy Bruh. shit. It all makes sense now. What? Yeah. We won't go there. You're going to cry. Okay. Thank I'm you. I'm not going to go there. Yeah, I did my we'll makeup. We'll talk about it another time. Yeah, I did my makeup. But what, why do you think you're a little mean sometimes? I don't know. I think I get, I think I'm just an angry person. But what angry about what? <laughs> you want me to go there? No, I just want to know why you're angry. I don't know why I'm angry, but I think I'm. You I like am. everything to be happy for. Yeah, I know. I'm so bad. Like, what do you have to be angry about? I don't know. Nothing. Actually, though, I'm actually really curious. Nothing and everything. <laughs> okay, no, it's serious now. What do you have to be angry about? I don't know. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm so angry all the time or so mean sometimes. You have no idea. I have no idea. I just am. It's my personality trait. Angry. Spicy. Asterisk. Kind of mean. Yeah. Um, did you see the joke Steve made about my dad? I wasn't going to bring it up. Did you see it? Bro, I saw it 10 different times, 10 different ways. <laughs> did you Did you think it was funny? No. Oh, okay. But we'll that's continue. different because like, like me and you can relate on that aspect. Yeah. In a way, like sure, there was different like ways that you know the deaths went about yeah but i personally don't i don't even like it when you joke about your own father passing away let alone yeah. like having someone else joke about it like i just i don't know i maybe it hits too close to home but i don't like those jokes yeah we like, had a, we I had got, a pack though I he got told me about it prior so it wasn't like he just ran just so people watching he didn't just like run the joke he told telling. you about it prior yeah i figured because you guys know each other so well that yeah. he knew like he could make those jokes i'm just saying that for me like if someone were to make those jokes. Pretty dark. Yeah. Dark but joke. that's him. That's why you guys work. Yeah. I have really dark humor. Yeah, you do too. And you were you were taking it well. You were just laughing and stuff. So yeah. that's why like I got upset and then the camera would pan at you and you were kind of like laughing it off. And I was like, okay, maybe like, you know, that it was a skit or like that he knew about it. If he's laughing so much about it, like it's not getting under his skin. Like Chat didn't like it though. Chat didn't like it. They were like, whoa, that's he went too far. Maybe because it wasn't just a one one joke. It was it wasn't one off. It wasn't two off. Yeah. It was like speaking of chat. Did chat like me? Were they asking like where's Sarah? No, no one, no one ever asks really about you too At much. At all? Never really. Oh. They're normally like, "Yo, where's Steve?" And I'm oh. like, "I don't know. He's probably drinking somewhere." And then they're like, "Did you think of me when you were in like, the cat?" They're like, "Where's Felipe?" Oh, that's crazy. And then did you think of me when you were in the cat cafe? Were you like, "Oh, Sarah would really no, like this"? But. No, yeah, wait, no. But I did say I want to get a cat, and I, I am going to get a cat now. And I know that you really like cats. And I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. Cool. <laughs> no, you go see the cat. Cool. Yo, I have, a, I have a genuine question, though. What? You tweeted about it. Oh, Speaking I am. Speaking of chat. I'm going to start streaming. Oh, my God. I've had, I've had a few conversations with a few different people. Who? We got to talk about this. A few people. It's very important. Few people from Twitch, few people from uh, Kick and Rumble. Yeah, it's important. It's important. We gotta talk about this. What platform are you going on? We're figuring this out right now. Okay, I'm figuring it out too, but it's gonna be awkward if we're in each other's streams and we're on opposite platforms, don't you I think? I mean, I don't want you to fall and be the ops. You know, I don't want you to be the ops. I think we'll both make the best decision. Yeah, of course. That's why I'm saying I gotta talk to you off camera about this. Off camera. Yeah, on not camera. on camera. We're not going to talk about this on camera. Why? Let's throw some numbers. Guys, by the way, any numbers you see on Twitter, it's like someone signed a $50 fake. million dollar deal. Fake. They're all fake. Fake. All of those things you see, it's all true stuff. Why do they do stuff. that? I don't know. And why do people believe it? I well, believed it too. Well, I'm look, not even going to lie. Are we talking Larry, about the perception? perception? They only know yeah. what they're supposed. They're told. Yeah. So you got to be careful. But with, it's you know? still insanely good money. Oh, yeah. It's fun too. It's fun. I haven't gotten to the numbers section of the talks. Have you? I know, I know numbers. You know numbers. I know numbers. Yeah. Um, but I did my first stream on Kick, just me sitting and reacting. Yesterday? Like, yeah, last night. Yeah. And I had 10,000 plus viewers. It was fucking weird. That's crazy. I just making fun of you the whole time. Did, you, did I come up? Uh, I feel like you kind of ignore it when I do come up. I don't know why, but I feel like whenever I'm talking. Ignore what? If I'm talked about in chat or on a video or anything, you just kind of completely ignore me. No, I just do it all the time. Yeah, that's true. I just like always ignore you. But that's what makes the dynamic good. I think that's what makes you extra spicy. You're rude. And mean. You're you are mean though, for real. Bro, I'm mean? 
Yeah. Wow, my mean. Hold I on. just asked if chat has brought my name up, and you're like, no, not at all. No, of course they bring you up. And but why like, do you not address it? Because I like, was oh, thinking Sarah. about things that I talked about, and I don't think I talked about it. I just remember at one point I was searching, and then you and Sneeko were both. I uh, was searching. Yeah, I that. saw that on Twitter. Yeah, because I was looking at. Uh, I forgot what I was looking. You at. I think lurking? it was when you were at my. It's when you were at my place. And I think I I was I, I was you were sitting there and I searched both of you. I when think you, so, probably. Yeah. Yeah, when you were sitting there and we were before we yes, were to do this yes, podcast. The, yeah, last week. Yes. I forgot about that. I thought you were maybe a little jealous or something. No, it just sits there. No, no, f- please, dude. I'm not I'm jealous of nothing, dude. Jealous of me, I meant. Like, because you want to be with Sneeko. Wow. You got me. That's what it's I crazy. meant. Wow. Cat's out the bag. <laughs> dude, I can make so many jokes right now. I'm going to totally refrain. I'm going to pull it back. I'm not going to make jokes, man. You're going to pull out? No. Because I can make some right now, too. I'm going to pull it back. Wait, pull it out? What is that? Like, what joke's about pulling out? No, I'm like. Go ahead, make your jokes. No, nah, I can't. No, nah, do it. No, nah, I'm good. No, make No, them. I'm good. Please, 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 pull please. Pull out? No. What pull out jokes you got? Nothing. I don't. I meant pull it back. I don't know why I said that. Okay, what pull it back jokes you got? I have jokes I'm not going to say. I'm pulling back. Say pull. your jokes. No, then you this say them. Is... You go one and I'll go one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. You should, have like gotten, a, you should have gotten cut up right before damn, I should power that, slap. That dusty? It's not that dusty. I'm just saying. Bro, dusty. What if you see your boyfriend, Dan Bolzerian? <laughs> what? I feel like you guys have the same niche. Same niche? Just women. <laughs> How do we have the same niche? Because I got a beer, he got a beer? No, same niche isn't like you both just like use women for content. Use women for content? Really? You think Look that? at me. You haven't, I haven't seen a dime from this podcast. I'm being Dude. used. How? <laughs> How have I not seen a dime? How? No, it's it's not even been like a little more than a month. What do I got to plug in Bro, all the things and shit? It's been two months and I've been on your ass. Bro, have you? I have. And you know I How have. How much money have I seen from this? Besides all of it? I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. That's what I'm I saying. I'm over here working for free. This is no. like. Dude, you're not working for free. I literally have no dollars. They're all sitting in like limbo. You know that? Limbo space? Yeah. AdSense. Yeah. Uh, Sweeting yeah. from Jim Yeah, Wee. if I don't get paid next next week, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> Straight up. She's quitting. She's quitting the pod. Oh, my God, dude. Such a drama queen. How are you such a drama queen? I'm not. I'm just You know saying. what you're good at? What? Creating drama? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. You are good at that. Yeah. No, I, I hold myself back. There's a lot more I wish I Oh yeah. I wish I would say. Oh, me too. What? Yeah. I hold myself back for like uh, 10 years? Yeah. Long time. Because then every time I speak out, it comes out to being a slap in the face. You slap you in the face? Stop slaps me that. in the face. Slaps you in the face. Yeah. How? Because then I just get, f- like, if I try to, like, cook someone back, I get cooked twice as hard back, and then I just get quiet. It works. I can't cook back and back. I don't want to, like, stir too much drama. You got to maintain your spice level. That's the problem. You just, maybe you just, your spice, like, it's dwindling. Like, you got it for a second, and it fizzles Yeah, yeah, out. exactly, exactly. It'd be, like, something that's, like, kind of hot for a little bit, and then it's just, like, shh. Just like you. Me? Like, how, like, you talking like, like popularity hot? Yeah. Oh, shit, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. That that's, ins- crazy. that's incredible. <laughs> it's actually, you know, it's crazy. I was streaming and someone was like, bro, I can't believe you've been making content for this long and you're still doing it. Like, you're still doing it. Yeah, you're still him. I'm still the guy. Yeah. It's crazy. Kind of weird. I wonder why. Wonder why what? How have I done that? Just you keep, keep making content? You keep making content and you stir it up like you like do it with different people or you do it with new people or yeah. like, you know, it'd be hard if it was all on your own. Oh, it'd be terrible. What yeah, the fuck? but I'm you saying like you, it. everyone likes you. So everyone wants you in their content. Me, everyone else. Who else? Everyone Name else. Them. Like, I feel like you and Neon have a good bond. Neon's dope, man. He I needs keep, to not burn out. Yeah, I keep I kept seeing those clips of you guys talking in Japan. Yeah, he needs to not burn. I mean, I think it'll be fine regardless. And there's so much like drama. Hold the mic close to your mouth, Bradley. Okay, got it. Jacob, we're good. All right, we're solid. Yeah, Thank I you. know. There's so much drama in this the streaming community. Did you know that? Yes. What's the drama? What was that? Would you? Would you keep it close to your mouth. It's here. Oh, can I ask? Wait, are Sam and Neon like? Did they stop? Did they break up or what? Um, I actually don't know. He called me and then he's like, I'll tell you off stream. And then he didn't call me back because he knew I was on stream when he was talking to me. Um, but I have no idea to be honest. And I honestly, like, it's interesting because I was kind of talking about this on my stream. Like, I really don't give a f- 
No, I don't. You know I'm what I'm saying? Curious. Like, I hope that they're. And I'm not saying to jab yeah. at you. I'm saying like, I just hope like whatever it is, they're they're both equally happy because like, I think people have this funny perception of like this girl, that guy, and he's giving this and she's getting that. It's like they're both fully aware of what's happening. Yeah, it's not like this chick's making a ton of money and then being like, I'm making no money, Neon. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, it, they're both very aware of the benefits, mm -hmm. and I think they're just deciding or deciding not to whether they're for each other or not. It's just up to them. It's again it goes back to the whole perception of the outside and what people want things to be or what people think things should be, and they have all these opinions based on like, oh, it should be like this or it should be like that. And that's kind of what I was saying uh, last night in my stream a little bit. I was like, yo, just let people live their life and make their own mistakes and make their own decisions. Who gives a? F yeah. But it's it's interesting how maybe it's just the younger generation because I know I know the streaming community is like probably like of a younger generation, younger demo, and they're so invested in like other people's lives, which is so interesting to me being older and growing up in those years of my life when I'm like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I wasn't invested in other people like that. I was invested in no one. I was invested in like Zoe 101 and stuff, like no. that kind of drama. Well, you're a little younger than I am. Yeah, yeah, like I, shows. So I'm like 10 years older than you. More, yeah. Really? Yeah. More? Yeah. How old are you, 34? Yeah. I'm 22. 12 years older than Fuck. me. Fuck. 12 years older than you. God <laughs> damn it, bro. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> So you could oh, God damn it. Anyways, long story short, when I was your age, no, Ew. seriously, when I was your age, none like there was no like that guy, this girl, no one gave it. There was nothing. It was just like you lived your life. The internet wasn't the thing. You're like, I'm gonna focus on trying to like figure my life out, try to figure out my lane. How could I make the most money, have a family, live a good life? Now it's like, yo, I'm 16 and I'm thinking about being a, a Twitch streamer, a YouTuber, an Instagram or a fitness model. It's so weird now because, like, so many more kids, I feel like, are living kind of lives that aren't – and I guess this actually has not really changed much because I was going to say we're living lives that aren't really their own because people see what works and they just try and copy. But then back in the day, even before there was the internet, it was like they just copied the parents and the parents said, you should do this. Yeah. I just wish more people were There's doing things. There's different influence now. Exactly. I just hope that people really do things because they want to do them. Yeah. Not just because like they see a Twitch streamer or a kick. Well, I think it's not. I mean, it's not even just because they want to do them, but it's like the same thing. It's it's perceived as so cool or fun or whatever. Like you know, if you see our Snapchats, it's like oh, they're always traveling, they're having fun. Like you don't work a nine to five at a desk yeah. job, so people see that as like, you know, they admire that or they want that. It's just perceived. They don't see like the bad side of it. Yeah. Well, that's my point. My point is like, not the bad part necessarily, but. People see what you show them, but they don't necessarily what see what it takes to like get to that point to be able to have that, to be able to actually do that and to benefit yeah. from that. Cause and they also don't see all the other stuff that actually takes that requires of you to like figure out like for this, for example, figure out the deals, all the other stuff, making sure the money goes here versus there. Like yeah. it sounds like small things, but once you're like making, making content, sure the um what is it like the LLCs are good or yeah, the banks making sure are, the business yeah. is made, the taxes are done right, the everything's connected, this and that, like there's so much other stuff that goes on that I don't think people are aware of. So when they start to step into the space, they're like, they either get lose a bunch of money because they didn't do their taxes properly in regards to like their business accounts, the bank accounts, et cetera. Or like, they're like, I don't even know what to do. And then they trust someone else to teach them and that person them over. It's like, it's a crazy thing. Seriously. Yeah. I never got over like that. I just had to learn the hard way. Yeah. I had you to learn. taught me pretty early on actually with all that stuff, which yeah. is good. So I, really I, good I learned, I learned the hard way, but you know. I set my son up right, you know? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I know. Even if you're not in my content, <laughs> some of my comments are always like, yo, Brad's son is looking good here. <laughs> Handsome young man. <laughs> or, the, or like when I posted that thing with Bryce yesterday, it was like, oh, Brad's pissed right now. Bro, what See, the See, it's just the perception of things. I don't give a f dude. It's all good. No, you were. You called me out and you chewed me out. I was like, you f***ing p How dare you? <laughs> no, dude, I don't care. You met Bryce at my gym. Oh, you just want to put that in there that you put me on a Bryce? No, but that's true. And I mean, it's factual. Yeah, it is. What, I don't care that you're like, it doesn't matter. No, you did. Yeah. I think everyone you met in the industry, you met through the gym. Yeah. Every, and then to be fair, everyone I've ever met in any sort of capacity is from the gym. I think another, another thing I've learned is you can make really, really good connections playing gambling. You can make really good connections gambling or really bad connections. Well, yeah, if you're in the right places and people and groups of people gambling. If not, like you're just, you could be gambling just 
degenerates. I know, but I I've had even at the lower limit tables and high limits, I've met insane like I've met these incredible finance guys, two of them, really good guys. Mm, they really good guys. I you mean, base that finance off of. bros usually aren't the best guys. I don't know what you're basing it off of. It's reckless. But they, they they were nice. Okay. Um, and they gave me some good information. Did they offer you some drinks? You're like, I don't drink. Um. Yeah, they were. They, Interesting. They did. Offer yeah, fi- nice bros. But I think they were just like trying to be nice. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, they were just being nice. That's what guys do. And I was do. like, no, I don't drink. And he was like, why? They see girls and they offer them drinks, and they're just trying to be nice, just trying to make some friends. Do you actually believe that? Oh. No. No, honestly, I'm curious. I sound stupid. No, do you believe that they're just like, oh, I'm a finance bro? <laughs> okay, maybe you're. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, no, dude. Who no, you're, right, you're right. I you're wasn't right. there. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Now that well, now that I'm looking back at it, I don't think they were like trying to get me drunk. Well, I don't necessarily think they were trying to get you drunk. They were just. I don't know if they were just trying to be nice finance bros. Yeah, usually that those two don't go together. Yeah, which is fine. Whatever. Shoot, shoot your shot. I was uh, like, I was like, can I asked the group chat? I was like, can Brad come on, come with us, like, um, in the sprinter, like sprinter van? He's like, too big, too sexy, too big. And they were like, he takes up half the bus because he's ripped. <laughs> who said that? Shane, the guy uh, who let us use all this. Uh, so is that a no or a yes? I think you're good. Okay, you're good. I gotta go in a sprinter. The more more, more important question is: Is Jacob going in a sprinter? He he's welcome to come. Yeah. Oh, he said good. Oh, he said good. He has to edit. You this. gotta edit. Okay, well, I just want to make sure if my boy can't go, that I can't go. Yeah, but the reason your boy can't go is because you pulled up so late to do this podcast. If you would have came yesterday, well, look at the her, day before, like I said, he could have done this that night and then hung out with us today at Power Slap. But did you enjoy your day yesterday? He needed to rest. Oh. He, dude, jet lag's real from Japan. Yeah, no, I believe it. I'm just. I'm pretty much Japanese now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, turning Japanese. Good, because I'm trying to get all my thin new panties. <laughs> That wasn't a good joke. Dude, how long have we been going? <laughs> yeah. I, I wish it was an hour 20 because I would have ended the podcast right there. <laughs> I used that, that joke. I used that joke in my last week's YouTube video. Like, oh, are you Japanese? Because I'm trying to get all up in your panties. It was Micah's joke. It's on him. I don't. You know what I think we should leave in this year when we move into next year? Yeah, what? We should leave jokes that are puns off of words for you. For good. Let's leave them for good. <laughs> Do that. My cock, fucking <laughs> jet panties, fucking gundies. Can we just leave all those? <laughs> you know this, the gundies yes. Is a good one. Can we leave them all? Yo, tonight, let's leave them all. No, tonight I'm gonna. Okay, after this year I'll leave them. Say one of those jokes to Dana. I can't to Dana. Say one of That's those jokes to Dana. That exactly. So you should I stop can't. saying those stupid ass jokes. <laughs> say one to Dana. You can keep saying them in 2024. Really? Yeah. Okay. You got to say a good one. Okay, I will. I'm going to watch his face. He's going to go like this. I'll be like, dude, did you see He's going to go like this. I'm going to say, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, did you see the new drink lady in High Limits? He's going to be like, oh, no. And I was like, Candace. I was like, she's really pretty. And I'm like, Candace. (laughs) Bro, I swear to God. I can't do it. Say that to Dana. I can't say that to him. No. Dude, he'll he'll laugh. He will? 100%. I feel like you're setting up. He's going to go go like this. Uh, He's going to give you like one of like, this bitch really made that stupid ass <laughs> joke. Okay. But he might laugh if you say it. Yeah, I think he will. Because it's like, I w- I'm laughing just wa- thinking of you saying that to Dana. Because <laughs> it is actually funny. Or I can come up with a different one. No, that's a good one. Like, oh, do you like tapes and CDs? Like Tapes and CDs? Yeah, so tape this d- so you can see these nuts. Tape this d- so you can see these. I swear to God, I am done with these jokes, bro. Even if you say this at the day, what does that even mean? Can you tape this, tape this, so you can see these nuts? What do you mean tape this? What does that even mean? What do you mean tape this? That doesn't even make sense. It's tape the stick on your phone. Oh, so now we're adding other words to this dumb ass fuck. Tape this on your forehead, bro. What are you talking about? I fucked up my makeup. You're a dick. Yo, tape this. To your forehead so you can see these nuts. You're insane, bro. <laughs> You're actually a crazy human being. Say that to Dana. <laughs> Dude. What does that even mean? I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, go. Go fucking yourself up. I'm crying. You're crying for real. This is a real, this is a real moment. God, that was so funny. Wow. <laughs> but no, no, no. Who, like, what? Whoever said that, that was like, ha, ha, what? 
Um, no one's ever said like, that joke. Oh, do you like do you like the music artist Imagine Dragons? Imagine Dragons. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I feel like you're gonna be like 40 years old and still say these lame ass jokes. Yeah. Can you give me a tissue? Dude, you're please 10 out of 10 annoying. Imagine dragging these nuts on your face. That one's kind of dope. That one's kind of good. Like the tape is though to the the chin one was weird. That one was funny too. It was weird because it doesn't even make sense. Thank you so much. Oh my god. You're really crying. Oh my god. Wow. Brad, you know that was funny. Please say that to Dana White. You're man. so welcome. We just got two really good clips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. We should. God. Oh, we should burn god. this podcast. No, this is a good podcast. It's the only thing that keeps me going. <laughs> Let's not kill it off yet. <laughs> this is the only thing that keeps me going. And that's how you know it keeps me going is because I haven't even asked you, like, yo, where's the money, by the way? Like, why have I no, not been paid? I'm telling you money's yeah, there. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm yeah. saying, like, I don't even care. No, this pod's lit. It's my favorite. Like, that's why I keep, kept doing it. Because you best believe, like, when yeah. Rocky don't pay me, I'd be like, yo, where's that yeah. money, though? Give me that check. <laughs> but with this podcast, I'm like, yo, this No, the is pod's fun. fun, man. It's also fun content. <laughs> it's simple, too. Yeah, can you sit up, please? Sorry, yeah. Take bad. another was, drink, by the way. I was getting, sorry. <coughs> you sound like fucking Steve will do it. I'm trying Steve to take advantage. It. What the what f***? F I, it was a bad joke. F Get that out, maybe? Jesus Christ. Was that like, sorry. You sound like Steve will do it. I feel like I can make those jokes with you, but the fact that we're on camera, I feel like I can't make those jokes. I mean, it's a joke, dude. Okay, good. That's all I'm Super you know. it's a joke. It's also crazy that... God, women are just, they only want one thing, man. It's sick. It's really sick. They're just really disrespectful and rude. Whoa, <laughs> holy <laughs> I thought you were going to throw that at me. Oh, my peripherals were like, hold on, bitch. F*** you, dude. That might slip out of your hand and hit me. <laughs> that um, was funny. So you met Steve and Selena. Well, I've known Steve. Yeah, but you were gambling with them. Oh, yeah, I saw them last night. When you first met Steve, what was your first impression of Steve? I remember, <clears throat> I remember I met him at the gym, your gym, obviously. Obviously, um, zoo culture. He was working out, and I was working out too. But I, I pulled up on him. I was filming with Micah for YouTube. I pulled up on Steve with the camera in his face. Oh, yeah, he didn't like that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, it's not that he didn't like it. He was still nice, but he was just quiet. Yeah. I think maybe like it was just too much. Like for the first time, like meeting him. Like yeah. now, I think if I pulled up with the camera, he wouldn't. No. Yeah. Care. That's so interesting because because Steve is Steve is like because when you said that right away, I think about all the other YouTubers, people that I've done content with. They all right away, if they've been in the game for like a year, they their like, energy goes they up know what it is. when they see the camera. If he's not prepared for it, like he's like, what the fuck's he's just like, he's just it's interesting. He's just way more reserved than you would really think. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he's kind of like quiet, like not like the content I've seen of him. Like he's different in person. But now that I've seen him more and more, every time I'm like, every time I talk to him more, I like him more. Even yeah, though yeah. I, he already was a good person when I met him, but every time I talk to him, I like him more. Yeah, he's a good dude. Solid, solid guy. <clears throat> solid. Yeah, he said he didn't like you. Really? Yeah. When he first met you. Oh. And now what? Kind of like in between. Oh. Five out of ten. What? Five out of ten. It's good. It's that bad? It's like a decent... I feel like he likes me. No, like more than a 5 out of 10. Mm, like a 5 out of 10. No way. It's that low. Call him. He's calling me. Okay, pick right up. Now, pick up him. and ask. On a scale of 1 to 10. <sighs> okay. Yo, <laughs> yo, why you got the red light thing on? Hold on. We're on a podcast. Hold on. Hold on. I got to put the... On. Hold on. Can anyone see that? Oh, my God. This is so funny. Okay. Yeah, I'm white face. <laughs> okay. Yo, quick question. Out of 10... How, like, rate, uh, not physically, like, how much do you like uh, Sarah? Like a five, right? A ten. Oh, fuck, dude. Fuck yeah. Wait, you're the phone? Bro, you're supposed to get me right on that question. Okay, go ahead. She wants to talk to you. She wants to talk to you for a sec. Steve, you slept through our workout this morning. I know, but I still can't. Okay, good. Um, Brad was saying that you only liked me a five out of ten. No, I'm, I like you. Ten, ten. I was trolling. Thank you, Steve. 
Wait, hold on. I want to see what he's talking about. Wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? What do you need? Yeah, and then we're going to leave what time? We have to leave here at 5. We have to leave here at 5 o'clock, they're saying. Yeah. Okay, we'll pull up now. Okay, all right, cool. All right, all right peace. You got that transformer mask I on? know. Are you going to pull hilarious. the whole, like, when we go to dinner? Yeah, I'm pretending like I don't know you. Are you going to? I'm a big time you. I'm kidding. What no, the are fuck? you going to not bring your wallet? No, I have a pay. I always got that. Yeah, you do. I always got that thing on me. Really, I, I pay a lot. I know, I know. That's not a joke no more. Because I pay a lot. Yeah. I've, I pay for fucking yeah. damn near every day. Yeah. All the time. Yep. Why'd you wink? Hmm? Why'd you wink? I didn't. I have something in my eye. Jacob, who paid for your food today? That's Me. an obvious thing. No, it's not. I mean, fuck? he's working. You took him on a trip. If anything, he'd be at home eating lunch at his house. Like, if you take him on a trip, you... Does he... You eat lunch <laughs> at your house? Nah, that guy eats out Chipotle and shit. Bruh. And, uh, and, and, uh, Kava. Yeah, Kava. Do you remember when we first met, how much we'd go to Kava? Yeah. Yeah, those are the days. You were different then. How was I different? So different now. How was I different then? Just different now. You were cooler back then. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yo, she can't take it because the clip, the clip culture, you can't take it, huh? <laughs> She's like, God damn it, take that back. No, no I'm totally fine. You. I was. There was you were, you know, you were, you were different, not in a bad way. You were different in like a, you had your eyes were a little bit more like, oh my god, life, and then social media, and you're like, whoa. Yeah, my eyes kind of doled out a little bit. No, I really mean that. Yeah, but not in a bad way. Just like you're a little bit more decisive and sharper now. Yeah. Because back then you were more like wide eyed and be like, oh my god, everyone's so cool. I was so wide eyed and bushy tailed, and then social media corrupted me. So did Bradley Martin's drugs. Wow, one in the same. One in the same. Social media and drugs. Yeah. Social media is a drug. It is. The dopamine. Oh, likes, likes. Numbers. Yeah. And then when it goes down, you're like, oh, no, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm getting canceled. Have you ever felt that way? I'm falling off. Yeah, all, a lot. Yeah. It fluctuates. But that is also, that's, that's the That's part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you know that now. I remember I told you that, too. Yeah. Do you have Damn. any questions on Discord? Oh my God, that's my favorite thing. Discord.gg slash raw gear. Go there. Uh, go to the column. It says mommy and daddy talk. I actually use Discord all the time. Oh, were you serious about giving me that gaming console thing you have? That extra yeah. one? Yeah. I can have it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, yeah. he really set you up for real. Um, so yeah, Discord.gg slash raw gear. Join the Discord. And then you scroll down. Thanks, mommy. And you go to. Mommy uh, and daddy. Or M and D. Sarah, now that you graduated and you're less lame and boring. <laughs> She didn't say that, but I did. I oh, that okay. Now that gonna, you graduated, though. I was going to say that sounds like a Bradley question. Yeah. They said, now that you graduated, have you considered doing live streams or content outside of the gym? That's exactly what we talked about earlier. So, yeah. We're going to figure all that out. Yeah. Um, I want to start streaming. Bro, why is it so hard to find friends that are creators? Most just want to take and take. Y'all's friendship actually got me hopeful. P.S. Excited for the new Rugged Drop. I'm going to make you a video. Hell yeah. Who was that? Spark. That's on the Discord. So, oh. so why is it so hard for for to find friends as a creator, and then, um, yeah, our relationship? I think because, like, especially fitness niche. Oof. I think <clears throat> I think Tough. everything's a competition. So, regardless, like, if it's a girl or whatever, you guys are going for the same kind of stuff. And if it's a guy, then he probably just wants to, to smash. To smash. Wow. I think fitness is probably the hardest niche yes, when it comes come to that. Yeah, guys, come in. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's Fit okay. Fitness is probably the hardest one. because. Wait, it's do you like fitness? <laughs> oh, fitness. fitness yeah, yeah, shut the <laughs> fuck up with okay. your shitty ass jokes. We're okay. done with it. Um, fitness is probably one of the hardest because it's, uh, it's just very superficial. Yeah. And everything is based on like just how you look. And entry level is so, is like non-existent like barriers. There's like no barriers. It's just like kind of get in shape. I'm a fitness influencer. And you can kind of get some traction. So yeah, I met the waters of, are very murky there. I met a bunch of Twitch streamers this past weekend. TwitchCon yeah. was here. Much harder to do this. What? It's much harder to be a streamer. No, all of the Twitch streamers were so nice. There you go. They were so nice. There you go. That's the point. That's my point. Yeah. It's 10 times harder to be a big streamer and to be good at it than it is to just be a fitness person. A hundred times harder, in fact. Yeah. Because you actually have to be able to perform for four hours at a time and not just take a photo and edit your shit. You're like, look at me, I got abs. What That's the fuck? 
Was yeah. that a shot? No, that was a shot at all of us, fitness people, me included. And well, not me, because I did a lot of cool shit. Like I jumped out of pools and I lifted girl and do I did you all this hear cool yourself? shit. I did cool <laughs> shit. I lifted women. I'm trolling you. You do cool shit too, like take photos like this in the gym. Okay, bro, what I'm saying is the Twitch people were nicer than fitness influencers. That's my point. Because the barrier to entry is so little. So there's so many of them being like, I'm in shape. I'm a fitness oh. guy. The point is it's much harder to be successful as a live streamer because you have to be able to perform at a higher level for a certain amount of time to keep yeah. people engaged than just take a photo or take a reel or whatever the f That's why they're probably nicer because it's not just like everyone's there. The people who are successful in it probably like also understand that it takes a little bit more than just like looking good. Yeah, like I kept telling them like I want to start streaming. They're like, we'll help you. We have extra this and that. It's just so, so you went to TwitchCon? I didn't go to TwitchCon, but I went to like an after party. Okay. And it was nice. cool. Yeah, it was good. Did she go with you? No, Faith just came here yesterday. Faith, you want to come here for a second? Come here for one second. No, yeah, right, yeah. right on my lap. Here or there? Is that a, is that more work? Is you that working? Sit in the corner? What the? Sir. Go in there. Go in there. Does that mic work? Yeah, the mic works. It's a chode. Which camera are you looking at? Um, none matter. of them and all of them. That's a chode, huh? First time? What? First time experiencing that? It's a chode? Yeah. What's wrong with you, Brad? Yeah, he's what just the fuck, Bro, Brad? hold on. Oh, wait a second. No, what's wrong she with sits this down, thing? grabs what? a mic, and goes, it's a chode. And I'm the yeah, one who's so fucked are. up here? That's insane. Yo. That's crazy. How can we do that? How is that a real thing? Because you just, it wasn't your joke to, like, get in on. I was oh. just telling it. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> what do you want from me? No, I just feel like it's not even my podcast anymore. Just it's not. It's mine. Two girls. Mommy and, and mommy one, podcast. Two girls and one cup. <laughs> two girls. <laughs> Do you have any questions for Brad Faith? Introduce yourself, first of all. Because we're doing Discord questions right now. And I Hello, just Mommy and Daddy podcast. It's me, Faith Ordway, here. Just hanging out. We're in Vegas. Woohoo! Were you drunk last night? Um, I had some drinks. Yeah, yeah I yeah, had... Yeah, um, it's dope. I'm a lightweight. I think I had you four had a good or amount, five though. shots. Yeah. yeah. I can handle myself, but I was definitely feeling five myself, too. Five shots is a lot. I said I'm That's a lightweight. A... I'm a child. But I you don't have five drink. shots? Yeah. That's not light. I mean, like that's, a, that's a good amount. That's oh. a decent amount of shots. Thank and you. she lost $500. Yeah, I did. But it's okay. It's like you have to think of Vegas as a place to... You're spending money on the experience. Yeah, you're just paying their electricity. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keeping the lights that. on. Charity work, huh? Sarah, please step on my neck. That was a question on the Discord. That's not a question. That's a statement. It says, yeah. No, but would you step on someone's neck if they asked you? No. Are you in this like, weird... Uh, I'm not. I'm okay. very... What about you? Would you like? No, I'm too sweet. I think I, I'd, I'd cry. I'd give them a hug, but they probably wouldn't like that. They're probably like they have the kink for Violence. being stepped on, and yeah. That's such a weird thing. Anyways. I can see you liking it. Yeah, you I look like too. somebody who likes to get kicked in the like nuts. To be honest, was, oh you think I like to get God. kicked in the nuts? Say, were we on the same brave <laughs> yeah. brain language? Yeah, that was yeah. the nuts. Yeah, you look no, like you like to no, get. No, no, no. That in sounds. The nuts. I don't. I don't really like pain like that. Mm. You're not really about that? Not about pain like that. Not my nuts, man. No. All right. That sounds like it would I hurt. Think he's capping. I know. Oh, this is Maybe crazy. Maybe not the nuts, but like he's capping. Yeah. Dude, hold on a second. I'm going to get some good ones. Oh, Let yeah? Sure you, sure you Let me ask them. You want Bro, to? you act like this is your podcast. Here, go ahead. Ask them. There's, I think there's one right here that might be. Oh, oh f me. Whatever have you guys had any um, official guests yet? Yeah. Yeah, we have. Who Say his name. Have? I was going to stroll you. Since you like to say it so oh. <laughs> You said it earlier, stupid. You're her boyfriend. Oh, my God. Okay, someone said, Sarah, girl, Should I got a Discord say? just to say, just to say, please stop chewing gum during podcasts. It's annoying. Still love you, though. That I took it out today. Mm -hmm. I think I might have swallowed it halfway through. I don't know. Yeah, I do swallow my gum. That was a question. That was a statement. This okay. is awkward. How do you fix chicken legs? Bro, give us better questions than fucking fitness ones. Okay. Please. Two fitness people Two in a room and you don't want to talk about Three, fitness. aren't you one too? Yeah. Yeah, you are. You, yeah. You are a fitness girl. Oh, fuck. I don't want to talk about it though. Okay. Dude, we Why were in the are car. Why are you iced out right now? <laughs> we were in the car. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the car. And what did that guy say, Jacob? He sees me. He goes, you look like you know about muscles. And he asked me about like a groin injury. Really? And I was like, dude, I don't know. 
Like, I don't know how I'm going to help you with this. Yeah. I get asked about fitness 100% of the time. Oh, will you train Neon if he ever takes the gym seriously? Yeah, I told him What do you mean by train? What the f***? What else, what else would you mean by that? Working out. You mean like a train? Yo, you're the one inappropriate. Oh, pause. She's the one with the choke thing. I didn't and then say she's like, anything. I don't know what you're talking so about. So what do I mean train? What do you mean by that? What was that little innuendo? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're not talking about working out, right? Let's get oh some better questions. God, dude, what do you think the world will look like in 50 years? Gone. I, I hope, think so, too. I hope so, dude. Hope so? Dude, this place 50 years, sucks. I think we might have World War Three. I think it's going to happen before Soon. that. No, I know. Yeah. So yeah. whatever it looks like after war. Um, I feel like World War Three is it. I feel like that's when it's all we're done on that point. Like, if people are really doing that, I feel like there's too much firepower for it to be good for anyone. Which is kind of fucked up. Or maybe that's just your point of view because America hasn't been like bombed in years. So, well, sorry, that's not true. It has been bombed, but it hasn't been like hugely attacked. So maybe we just have like the privileged mindset of like, if we were to be involved, then it's end all be all. But there's so many other countries that go through it every day. So you'd probably no, no, still I, I think exist. no, I think straight up like if it's World War Three, like for real, yeah, like the actually World War, they're all saying f at that point. Oh yeah, because they all have like so much more firepower than they've ever had. Okay. All of them do. Yeah. Oh, this is good. What would you be doing right now if you were broke with no money? I'd be at the gym. Yeah, but how would you be making money, bro? Probably be a trainer. At the gym? Yeah. All right. That's it. That's what I'd be doing. Sarah, your answer first. <laughs> I need to think. If I was broke with no money, I'd be using my degree probably. I'd be working nine to five. Well, let's do it before you had a degree. How? I have the degree. Okay, let's pretend you didn't have a degree. Then I had my bachelor's. So what would you be doing with the bachelor's? <laughs> Nothing. It was in psychology. <laughs> <laughs> What about you? I would go back to working at the ice cream shop I last did because it was fun. No, I would probably. <laughs> Dude. That is a fun job. I can't tell I if made you're sweets. Me. No, I liked it. It was oh, okay. one of my favorite jobs. I just baked stuff all day and it was nice. I'd probably get try to do like some kind of e commerce <laughs> business. Oh. How would you start that up with no money? Oh, fuck. All right. Okay, fine. I'd I had a sneeze. I'm sorry. Yo. Yo. Are you shy, Faith? Yeah, what's no. good? Yeah, what's happening right now? What? <laughs> Yo, why, are you, why are you doing this right now? What? You're trolling me. No, I'm not. I swear you're trolling me right now. Did, did you drink Is downstairs? it because... No. Do you think I'm an alcoholic? Is it because I have bangs now? Dude, think the I'm bangs a troll? are making you act different. Oh. It looks cool, though. I want to get bangs. What the fuck is she doing? What the fuck is she Yo, I can't take this Yo, serious. Yo, what time are we at? I'm sorry. You you really, you got me laughing right now. I don't know cool. what you're on, but it's funny. It's crazy being a woman doing that. What'd you yeah. say? Huh? It's crazy, Nothing, being, uh, a crazy being a woman being able to do that. Pat on my back. Thank you. Whoa. Damn, respect. <laughs> she hasn't, she hasn't fully like appreciated it, it yet. Appreciated what? The what? womanhood. What the fuck? Yeah, because the, the, the girls on Twitter, they're like, she's, you know. What yeah, but that's Twitter. Twitter. Oh, you mean like just... Yeah, well, they talk shit about her. What do you think about that? The feminine... Shitting on you on they Twitter. They too masculine. They say she looks too masculine. That I look... Am looks I? too masculine? Yeah, they're just like... They're just shitting like on her. Like too muscular, too muscular. But that's muscular. just not true because at the end of the day, I see people comment that all the time and it's like you only look masculine if you're flexing. In the normal state, you look normal. Same answer. You know? Yeah, she get the same answer. I look normal? Yeah, you can kind of small too, by the way. Not in a bad way. It's lately. just like... She looked a little small, though, lately, yeah? No, she's actually been, like, Not I yesterday. can see a difference. Yesterday, she was like, yeah! I was walking, I was walking down the hallway in front of her. Yo, don't make that face, bro. <laughs> and she said, she literally said, yeah! And I said, I know, bro, right? Yeah. No, I can tell, I can tell. The creatine is doing its work. How long have you been on the creatine again? I've been on the creatine grind for two months. Wow. A little less, a little less, maybe six weeks. Do you take creatine? No, I don't. I I'm just thinking about how Sarah's just putting her toes out for free for everybody. Oh, f were they in the angle? The whole pod? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, not to, like, not to bring go. it up. Oh. Yo, you're lit. You're Yo, lit for that. Yo, that's crazy. On that angle? Oh. People will, people will start sucking them through the screen. Ah. Uh, Damn. Yo, be careful. You're going to knock that out. I know, I saw it. Hmm? Sniff their phones. They're going to sniff their phones. You're welcome, guys. Damn. 
Well, on that note. On that note. Should I get out of here? No, you're great. You're good. You're good. You're great. No, you can stay right here. Cool. Thanks. Is there anything else you want to address? Um, I think there's something you want to address. Me? Address? Address? What am I addressing? That one thing. What one am thing? Am I going to okay. poop my pants? What? What? Bro. Sorry. You're f- trolling hey, can me. I have one of these or what? She yeah. goes, are you saying you're going to poop your pants? What? No. Yo, what are you taste test. Ask? Taste test right now. Right I'm now. actually not sponsored by them, so just um, pretend I'm... Make this into a pickle. No, actually, don't do that. <laughs> what? Yo, no. Um, Make Yo, it into Faith a... Faith is tripping me out right make now. Make it into a potato. Yo, you're really tripping me I out. I don't know oh, if we can yeah. do all that. Oh. Bro, make this into a pickle. She might have put it... <laughs> you want to make it into a glizzy? Dude, you're... Fu- no, are glizzy's you drunk? too far. I'm not drunk. Yo, you're funny out. right now. Thanks, man. Damn. What is that? I wiped my tears with this. Wow. I made her cry earlier. Yeah, he did. Why? You make her cry oh, often. No. You know? You know that? No, she was laughing. He asked me if oh, I liked if okay. I liked That's like, okay. He asked me if I like tapes and CDs. Oh this my tape God. this deal for it so you can see these nuts. That's it, dude. That's it. That's the podcast. <laughs> that's that how one. the podcast that's ends. Called, that's called dirty uh, no. sloth memes. Look them up. hundred percent ends. Like the fact that you knew that and Sarah said that earlier just makes me ten times more upset. Can't believe it's it. just in humanity. All right, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Oh um, put questions in the Discord. Uh, Discord.gg slash Roger. Yeah. Put questions there. Who's your and question? I'm going to take all of Brad's money tonight. I'm also, winning me. All the bets. can I have some? Dude, uh, yeah, pay up. You actually owe me some money. money. You straight up owe me money. What do I owe you? you owed me AirPod Pro Maxes that I've been asking Dude, for for six months. I paid $7,000 to send this whole And you're thing. getting reimbursed for that. I haven't seen yeah. a dime from this podcast. Yeah, either have I. Bro, fuck. Bye. Either have I. Yes, you have. Because you're fucking bank account. Yes, Google got it. Talk to Google. Since you're such good friends with fucking YouTube and Google. Fuck you, you spicy bitch.